What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my Netflix picks. Let's get right into this. Okay, so since it is winter and I do live in Canada, lately I've been finding myself watching a lot more Netflix. There is a lot of great shows on Netflix that I'm really getting into now and a lot of great shows that I probably have yet to discover. So at the end of this video, if there is certain shows that I did not mention in this video that you guys would recommend for me, comment them down below because I want to check out a lot more shows. And just a reminder that in this video, there may be a few spoilers for certain shows. So I just wanted to put that out there for you guys. So let's just get right into this. Up first is a show called Prison Break. It originally came out in 2005, and this show here, I honestly love. I started to watch it right away, and it was the only show I was watching whenever I first got Netflix. It mainly focuses on two brothers, one of which gets wrongfully accused for murdering the president's brother, and he gets put into prison and gets sent on death row, which I thought was crazy. And his brother ends up, he who is the main character basically, uh, he ends up planning the escape, planning how he gets into prison, planning everything that he needs to know about this prison, about stuff all the way down to the simple stuff of what kind of bolts are used for different attachments and that, that he might need while ever he's trying to plan the escape. So crazy, crazy in-depth story of how they plan their escape, which season one follows them, uh, his brother going into the prison, learning more about their history, their past, and learning about how they're planning their escape, who they can trust, and how they're doing it. And the coolest thing is he has the escape plans tattooed on his body, but they just look like regular tattoos. It's not obvious that they're the prison's blueprints or anything, or there's any information on his body. It just looks like normal tattoos. So the first season basically helps and shows them planning the escape and at the end of the first season actually escaping from the prison with a small group of people. The second season follows them while they're on the run trying to evade the police and I thought that was so crazy and well done of what happens in season two and everything that happens. They first were trying to go to Mexico and that was their escape plan after leaving the prison they were going to go to Mexico but now they're on a treasure hunt for five million dollars that is buried in pretty much the middle of the United States so they end up trying to go there for that so there's a lot of twists and turns along the way a lot of mistrust through the people that escaped and uh, people backstabbing others and it's really really crazy but awesome and right now I am only on I think I'm about to start season four season three they have to go to another prison in Puerto Rico they get arrested there and they have to go to the prison and end up escaping so that season is a little bit odd there's a lot to follow and a lot of details that you have to be watching so right now I'm just starting season four I have not finished the series but I honestly love this show. The first two seasons, in my opinion, are a lot better. But the show in total is great so far from what I've seen. Next up is a show called Narcos. Now this basically follows the story of Pablo Escobar and how the police are trying to find him, stop him, and all of the drugs that he's taking across the border and how he did it and how he basically built his empire. The show is amazing. There's a lot of subtitles because there is a lot of Spanish parts where they are in Mexico. So you basically have to follow through the uh, subtitles if you do not understand the language. So it is a great show. Usually I don't like shows that have subtitles, but the story is amazing of how they end up doing everything. I'm only, I believe I'm only up to episode five. So I have a long way to go and there's probably a lot of things that I have yet to see that are going to be insane. But there's a lot of crazy stuff so far where Pablo has killed somebody because they've double crossed him and stuff like that. The show is honestly amazing. I definitely would recommend it. Next is a show called The Island, which is only one season's worth and it is a Netflix original. And I honestly feel like there's no real way that they can come back with a season two unless it follows another group of prisoners in a way. It's basically what this show is about. Uh, it starts off where these, I think, 10 people wake up on a deserted island not knowing how they got there and basically having their memory wiped out, which is crazy. So it starts off like it's a survival show where they're on a deserted island and they're trying to survive. But throughout the season, you end up finding out why they're there. They're actually prisoners who have done some pretty horrific crimes 
such as murder and stuff like that. And within the prison system, they decided to do this where in real life they're old, but while they're on this in this program, which takes them to the deserted islands through their memory, they're at their young age from whenever they committed the crime. And they're basically seeing if this is a, a way to help rehabilitate them to see what they would do if they were actually allowed back into the public um, to see how they would do things. And throughout the season, the farther, farther you get, everybody starts to find out why they're there, what happened, what they did in the past and start doing it again on the show, like while they're on the island. So it's, it's crazy. The end is crazy. It is something that is hard to follow, but definitely it's a good story. It has the survival aspect to it. It has the wow factor of, and kind of like the shock factor of finding out the truth about each individual character. So it is crazy. It is a little bit of back and forth. You do have to all of a sudden you'll be in the present day and then the next scene it'll be in the past following what this specific character did before to get themselves put into prison. It is honestly a great show and I could see them making a season two but have it basically follow a different group of people that get put on a deserted island and have them find out what happened to them. I think they could do that but I don't know if there will be a season two. Next up is a show called Brooklyn Nine-Nine. This is a hilarious show. It follows a precinct in New York, the 99, and everybody uh, that is on this show, all the actors do an amazing job. Everybody has a comedic role. It is hilarious. You can't really take the show too seriously. It does have a story that you follow throughout watching it from season one up until the end, or I should say the current seasons because it's continuing right now, but everything you can basically pick up one random episode and you'll get the understanding of what's going on. But throughout watching it from the first season up to current, you'll understand more of in-depth of why certain characters act the way they do and what is going with love stories and stuff like that. So it is more of a comedy cop show. It is a lot of fun. I definitely recommend it. And there's a lot of crazy things along the way. Um, there's a lot of characters that I absolutely love in this show. Next up would be Daredevil. As you guys know, I love Marvel movies, Marvel shows. I love the comic books. I love anything Marvel, basically. Uh, including the video games nowadays. But uh, with Daredevil, it follows Daredevil himself, uh, Murdoch, who does not have a superpower, which is so appeal appealing to me because he's basically a blind person that puts on a black mask and he goes and kicks ass because all of his other senses are enhanced and he can, he turns out he can see kind of shapes of things, but it basically everything relies on his other senses. Uh, he goes and he's trying to stop Fisk, who is a big part of the city of Hell's Kitchen, and they're trying to take down him. And throughout the store, a lot of crazy stuff happen. A lot of people randomly die that you weren't expecting them to get killed off. The show is having has a lot of twists and turns. I'm starting off with uh, Daredevil, and I plan on going and watching The Punisher, Iron Fist. And a bunch of the other Marvel shows because they get tied together, apparently, from what I've been told from other people. And there is a show called Defenders, which brings them all together. So all of these shows, the Marvel shows on Netflix, are discontinued. They're not currently making any more shows for them, or any more seasons, I should say. But I do want to start off with Daredevil, which I've been doing and making good progress in it. And then going and watching The Punisher because it gets tied into Daredevil and a bunch of the other ones because they tie together. And I think that's amazing that they did that. Next up is a show called Living With Yourself. This is a show that stars Paul Rudd playing two characters. Basically, he's down in the dumps and he is having bad luck. He gets recommended to a massage parlor, which actually clones people, which he did not know that ahead of time. He gets cloned and the original always gets buried, basically gets killed. But in this case, the original escapes and now there's two of him. One that is successful and the clone knows all of the memories of the person it's just he has more success he has he does things better he's more caring he's uh, basically a better person and then the original tries to step up so everything that happens all the conflict between the two the original and the clone is amazing of course it's Paul Rudd so the comedic aspect is through the roof all the actors and actresses that are in this show do an amazing job it's really phenomenal that they've were able to pull something like this off 
And I feel like there will be a season two just because of how the first season ended with a huge cliffhanger. I really hope they do because that'd be interesting to see what happens next. But again, it's a show that I'm not expecting it to, but it honestly, for one season's worth, it was an amazing show. Next up is The Walking Dead. Now, I know this isn't something that's exclusive to Netflix and it's been around for years, but from season one up till season nine is currently on Netflix. Season 10 is not yet on Netflix. It probably will be in fall this year, but the show is amazing. I ended up watching originally from season one to season eight on my own before I got Netflix. And then once I got Netflix, a couple months later, season nine was put onto Netflix, which I did not watch any of. So I decided to check it out and it was insane how just a couple shows, uh, a couple episodes into season nine, they fast forward six years and you find out the truth behind stuff and you find out what happened. And I can't wait to check out season 10 whenever it's finally on Netflix because I don't watch TV anymore. I don't watch shows weekly anymore. I wait for them to come out on Netflix or I have another uh, website on my laptop that I watch shows. So I would check out stuff there, but I always try to wait for a complete season to finish before I check out any of the episodes for that season. So definitely if you have not watched The Walking Dead or you want to catch up on it, or if you just want to do a Walking Dead marathon, Netflix is a great way to do so. And the last show that I want to mention is The Office. This is a show that I remember whenever I was younger, I would watch an episode here or there whenever I'm flipping flipping through the channels and I seen that there was a show I would watch it but I would never watch it weekly I never really watched it from season one all the way to the end it is a great show so whenever I got Netflix I had a lot of co-workers recommending it to me and telling me to go and watch it because they were referencing it quite a bit and I just never got any of the references so I decided to finally go and watch the show since I do have Netflix and it is on Netflix I started off with season one and the show is hilarious. I love all the characters, everybody, all the actors basically with their characters, with the office aspect, work well together. All the conflict, the love affairs, the comedic stuff with Michael Scott. Um, it is amazing. Jim with his antics. Of course, Dwight is insane. The stuff he does, uh, not only in the office, but outside the office. And right now I'm only about halfway almost at the end of season seven so that means I have two seasons left but the show is hilarious the show just keeps getting better and better I'm finally understanding all of the references that my co-workers are making it is honestly a great show um, th throughout the length of it some things get repetitive but for me it is a show that you can just pick up and start watching one random episode and you'll know and understand about it but I would recommend, like I did, starting off with season one and working your way through because you get the backstory, you find the annual events that the office does, you find a bunch of the hidden secrets and the small things that get sh brought up again later in the future. So I definitely would recommend The Office. So, so these are my Netflix picks as of right now. I've been watching a lot more shows and there's a lot of shows that are on Netflix that I want to watch in the future. I just haven't had time to. I've been watching a lot of these ones, trying to finish them off first. So if there's any shows that I did not mention in this video that you guys would recommend for me to check out, comment them down below. And in the future, whenever I start watching new shows and start to basically once I finish off these shows and I've finished all of the seasons for these shows, I will go with new shows and I will make another updated video for you guys sharing what else I would recommend for my picks. But this is the picks that I have for now because these are the shows I've been watching a lot of since I got Netflix. And honestly, I've been enjoying Netflix. I haven't watched too many movies on Netflix yet, other than Netflix Originals. There was one, uh, Six Underground, with Ryan Reynolds that I recently watched. It was great. But these are my favorite shows on Netflix right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave this here. Please take care. Peace.